Alright, here we go for another quarter final set. Now back in the 1300 to 1500 bracket, we have Snapey versus Moses here. And um, interesting matchup here. We have uh, Vikings for Moses, so he's going to play the Men at Arms into Archers most likely here. Vikings with fully upgraded Arbalests and uh, strong infantry to boot. So for um, Vikings up against Bulgarians here, they. Arguably at an advantage, considering that uh, if the Vikings go for the men at arms and the Bulgarians do so as well, the only trick up their sleeve for Bulgarians is that men at arms will likely kick in earlier, whereas the Vikings, when the Feudal Age kicks in, will have more hit points on the men at arms. I think 50 total. So we'll see how the game plays out, of course, but um, Vikings, no reason not to play into the infantry and the strength. They're classified as an infantry civilization. And the infantry gets plus 10 hit points starting in the Feudal Age, so that's a huge one against another civilization like Bulgarians. Bulgarians uh, will generally never go archers because they, um, <laughs> well, they don't get anything past archers, they only get um, archers, no crossbow, no arbalest. They do, however, get uh, solid cavalry. <coughs> Excuse me. Fully upgraded uh, cavalry, but uh, not getting Paladin, the Bulgarians. But in exchange, they get a unique technology from the castle called Stirrups in the Cast Age, actually, allowing the Bulgarians' cavalry units to attack 33% faster. Applies to both Light Cavalry, Hussars, Knights, Cavalier, that kind of thing. Also, with the infantry upgrades key kicking in instantly for uh, our infantry. Swordsman line upgrades kicking in instantly for the Bulgarians. The, the Men at Arms uh, option is basically a no-brainer. You could just collect 10 gold uh, like you would for a rush, a Dark Age rush. Make 3 militia and once you reach a few late, they will be Men at Arms. <laughs> so Bulgarians is one of those few sieves that could actually comfortably go Men at arms into scouts. You could send the men at arms forward uh, with your the timing that's usual for scouts. Say, say for example, twenty pop up or something, and then uh, you'd use the men at arms to delay or deny walls of the opponent, and you follow that up with scouts in the feudal age for some quick mobility and some extra army, quickly reaching the enemy base. I haven't seen it a lot, but I've seen it a few times from Bulgarians in this tournament. That kind of follow up. Moses on the forward now. Is he going to sacrifice his scout to enemy TC? This looks dangerous. Good dodge though. Uh, Snapey garrisons, but he doesn't get a single hit on the archer uh, on the scout here. Oh, blocking the lure! I love that. That might be one builder down for Moses here. Oh, that's unfortunate. No rule against lame in this tournament though, and uh, Snapey doesn't try to block the second one, obviously. It's right next to the town center. Doesn't change the fact though, one villager down for Moses. It says Eco KD 0 to 1 here, that's because it's the kill goes to the boar and not to the opponent when you do it like this. Losing one villager, maybe not the hugest setback for Vikings though, the very economy from. Uh, uh, yeah, if you late and cast late on forwards, it's just crazy getting the barrel and handcart instantly. There's the barracks for Snapey. He has not collected any additional gold yet, but that might be this villager's task. Loom is on the way, and feud late shouldn't be too far off either. Three villagers to gold, no less. One weak villager at that. Uh, Moses could actually snipe one of those if he feels like it. But might be too risky with a, an already a little bit weakened scout here. Yep, militia in queue for Snapey. It is. Three villagers long distance collecting gold here. Did they forget to place a mining camp or what's going on here? <laughs> it's 
Seriously. <laughs> Why the long distance mining? Maybe just wanted the gold from militia and then fall asleep. Yeah, probably. Well, it's gonna be affordable with more militia now with this long distance collecting, and you have the wood for a stable if you feel like it. Four militia soon to be men at arms moving forward now. And our friend Moses has at least three militia as well, but he has plus 20 hit points, uh, plus 10% plus hit points uh, once he reaches the feudal age. Uh, men at arms, it should be affordable for the Vikings as well. Still no mining up, no, just long distance gold mining for Snapey by the looks of it. <laughs> and following up with the range. It could be just one range, uh, single range skirmishers here, of course. Or Bulgarian's men at arms forward here. Moses with the upgrade, hopefully. He takes the engagement though, he has more hit points 44 to. Oh, never mind, he doesn't. Those are men at arms, so they have 45. <laughs> yeah, no use for a men at arms upgrade for Moses anymore, and he'll have. Um... Three and a quarter of men at arms of Snapey knocking at his door soon enough. It's still open on this side as well. Snapey with the. Well, it's not really doing anything yet. But I'd assume these skirmishers is still no reason to go archers for the uh, Bulgarians. Ooh! That is an unfortunate wolf, but uh, Snapey would almost lose his scouts as well. Good attention there to keep the scout alive with 1 HP. And now that wolf is just is just too unfortunate to have the wolf behind here, but I think the walls still go up. And a quick house behind to prevent the militia from entering. So that scout is just one poke away from dying. Good attention from Snapey again there to pull it away. Keep that one HP scout alive. <laughs> Both players with some idle TC behind here. Moses did kill one builder as well. So it was probably over here with this uh, starting scout. Uh, sniping a waller or something. We have some walling in towards the TC here for Snapey to limit any forward aggression. The woodland seems safe from Feudal Age Archers from the Vikings as well. Double ranges for Moses. After not getting the... He did get Men at Arms eventually, actually. So, okay. I don't hate that, since he uh, has to up against the Bulgarian Men at Arms here, but the Vikings Men at Arms still have more hit points. But overall, though, it's a slight. Well, it's a, actually almost twice the hit points since these three are at full HP for Snapey. Blacksmith going up as well, as well as the walls for the Vikings player here. Full on skirmishers defense for uh, Snapey here, not surprising at all, he expects the Vikings to go for the archers here. It's, it hasn't strictly seen the ranges, but yeah, he knows about one of the ranges, so it shouldn't be in a crisis. Morgen, Vodzok. Morgen, Gorda. And finally the starting scout goes down there for... For Snapey, but Moses will need a response to Skirms ASAP here. He's not gonna uh, gonna make it here with only archers, even if he has upgrades. And the I'd say Snapey doesn't, but he does. He's getting the ar armor now. He already has thatching, and I think the Skirms move in just in time to deny the walls here a bit as well. And they might might even contest the gold here. Moses might need to force a tower on the gold here. He's not going to be able to focus down the skirmishes here. Uh, with only archers, unless he takes his uh, risks and goes really close here. So Moses, he could... queue some more men at arms of his own here. He has the gold for two men at arms, for example. That could maybe help out. The skirms won't really kill the men at arms, right? And then you could use the archers to focus uh, Snapey's men at arms here. I think that's that's uh, Moses' best option right now. Uh, otherwise, he'd drop a stable and um, get some scouts out to deal with this. These villagers on the berries are idling out for a bit, so 
tiny bit of panic mode, but still some great archers micro from uh, Moses here, I have to say. He's trying to fight skirms with his own archers, not queuing skirmishes of his own. He's um, committed to the um, defense here with the archers, but seriously, this forward skirmishers are getting some serious value from uh, Snapey here. He saw right through the Vikings investment and is getting lots of damage for a minimum of effort here. Very, very much idle eco time for Moses here. Their idle TC time is comparable, it's just one builder apart, so no significant difference here. Keep in mind that wheel, Vikings get wheelbarrow instantly as well, so they'll um, they'll sort of have a three builder lead in that sense because Snape yet sometimes need to research wheelbarrow. And uh, catch up. yeah, pulling builders now to fight the skirms. Amazing value from the men at arms and skirms from uh, Snape here. It's actually an underrated combo. Uh, because if the enemy is going exclusively archers, then they won't have a response to that. The skirmishers obviously will snipe the archers. And with men at arms in the mix, you have a decent chance at uh, killing off enemy scouts or whatever complementary units they send in to, to deal with your skirmishers. Alright, so we have Castle Age on the way for Snape here. That's the thing with the single range skirm composed to, uh, as compared to double range archers. You spend a lot less gold, obviously. More food. But the farm eco seems healthy here. Of course, Snapey behind this even without... Um, I mean, he did eventually get horse collar, but he was missing it for a while. And uh, now with the double stables follow up here in the cast stage, and a good head start he has on Moses. He's actually going to reach the cast stage before Moses even clicks here, which could be disastrous for Moses, only with the few late archers and potentially spearmen to defend against double stables knights from Snape here. 10 on gold uh, will ideally need a 12 to sustain both stables, but still going to be a strong offensive here for Snapey with. Surprising enough, only one stable producing here. Now we are both good. Market for Moses is that well he has his buildings needed, just uh, needs to wants to tweak the economy maybe and also form part of a wall to keep the aggression out here. These skirms, elite skirms are doing work here though, and that's also going to render um, Moses's archers, uh, the pure archers at the very least, uh, youthless here I would say. There's almost as many skirmishes as there are archers for Moses, and now he's. Uh, House walling behind here to keep the aggression out. It really needs to keep the knights out here until he can reach cast stage of his own and um, attempt for some uh, monk or um, build pike defense here with the Vikings. House wall seems to be going up though, so the knights are being kept out for now. There is potential for breaking in the right hand side, but for now, Moses is fine. He did invest into that one defensive tower on the gold, so he's not going to be able to drop TCs right away with the cast stage kicking in. Snapey is staying 1 TC as well with the Bulgarians here, even though Bulgarians TCs cost only 50 stone and Snapey had a ser serious head start to the Gas Age. But he has some solid army momentum now with 16 army total, a mix of knights and skirms, something that could be so strong as well against the player mainly going for the archers here. Moses, 6 villagers down now and... His crossbows will have limited success with all the elite skirms in the mix here. 
Will we be seeing uh, Snapey adding some forward siege soon as well, maybe? He only has plus one on the knights, so the knights are still vulnerable to crossbow masses. But the crossbows can't get too close because there are elite scrubs here as well. Moses needs some... Yeah, what, what's gonna use? He could um, use some siege against the, uh, against the skirmishers, of course, but he needs a response to the knights as well. That's a t tough combo to counter for uh, for Moses right now. He's actually mirroring the approach here with uh, knights of his own, but keep in mind that Vikings knights they don't hit bloodlines, so they have only 100 hit points as opposed to the uh, 120 of the Bulgarian knights here. Snapey has a beautiful forward crepost spot here if he wants to go for it as well to deny golds and stones over at that side. And Moses uh, from the Greek Walling Grand is idling quite a lot of builders and doesn't seem to quite know what to do here against this offensive of Snapey. 24 builders to. No, 24 military to 13. Also a, um, a builder lead for Snapey now. Yeah, these are some tough raids to deal with. Uh, Moses will get the uh, re-wall up here, potentially. No, the knights are denying that one as well. Oof. Some serious losses here. The elite skirms, they have range. They won't easily snipe builders here. But they're still going to be able to um, idle the woodlands and cause some serious discomfort here. And the numbers are just... Uh, Devastating here for Snapey to handle with the Vikings. Good pressure for Snapey to limit the Vikings boom here and uh, diminishing the village account of the enemy as well. Not to mention the idle eco time here, which is off the charts for Moses. He's uh, not producing out of the DC either, so he's just falling further and further behind here with Snapey actually not producing builders either. Or is he? Okay, it just doesn't show with the overlay here, but he has, he's actually keeping builder production going here. Nice and consistent knights production as well. We see 13 on gold and 21 on food. That should be enough to sustain both one TC and two stables producing consistently. Some elite skirms still alive to still keep hitting the woodland, but this is a very inefficient woodland behind it. So Moses is really struggling for wood right now. He's trying to take this one, but it's also extremely exposed. So the knights could run in here any moment to take out more of Moses' resources. GD is called. Uh, Good performance by Snapey for the first game here. We'll be going to Moses' home map next after a look at the stats here. 55 to 41 builders. Military uh, solid lead for Snapey as well with the smoother cast late transition, but he saw right through the Vikings there for the double range play and defended nicely with skirms, even got inside the enemy base with skirmishers where Moses had no response. I think Moses had the option of adding a few minute arms to maybe fend off a little bit better, but easier said than done when you're under pressure like that. More resources collected overall for the Bulgarians, even a little bit of stone for a forward castle or crepos here. And then the uh, smoother uptime as well with the one range skirm defense and huge farm investment to polish that castle age timing over the Vikings. Let's pull up game two. So game two will be on another familiar map from the uh, ranked uh, queue on uh, AOE2DE. It's Atacama. Now uh, hold on. Someone hasn't been paying attention to the handbook here because they're playing the wrong Atacama. In the map pool, it is absolutely not Red Bull Wall Lottery Atacama. It is um, 
It is the, the EE version of Atacama that is to be used. That was an update I made before the tournament started, when I realized Atacama was in the in the map pool uh, for the ranked in queue for DE. So the DE version does not have Pish in the corners, which is the case here. So this is going to have a very different gameplay from the Atacama in the ranked queue. There's less wood in the middle here, although chunky, but there's the potential for Pish to the sides which is um, opening for lots of different possibilities here. So it's weird that uh, uh, Snapey didn't uh, object to the choice of Atacama here. It's uh, simply the wrong Atacama map. <laughs> but um, my bad as well for not informing um, informing um, thoroughly enough. I did put it in the handbook. I did put an announcement tagging the players. But apparently someone didn't get the memo. This is the second instance of uh, of this happening. It's not a huge deal, though. It's a resemblant of the other Atacama still with the uh, chunkiest woodlands in the middle here. But there are lots of smaller woodlands here. I think there's more consistent small woodlands here than on the, the Atacama. We'll see how it plays out, though. They go straight for the middle woodland here. He is with the Magyars. So that should suggest both Metal Arms Towers or you just still go into the scouts here, whereas well Moses with the Japanese could go with Metal Arms Archers, which could be strong here, but with the Japanese he means to fish as well, I'm sure, because the Japanese fishing ships are tankier than your generic ones. So if you can get to that, it's gonna have a nice and secure boot boost. But again, this is the wrong Atacama. If you're a tournament participant and seeing this map in play, it's not to be played. The map pool of the tournament says DE Edition Atacama, which is the one without water in, gore in the corners. So just uh, keep that in mind for your future games. Although this is a good map as well, maybe better than the DE Atacama, but that's a different discussion. So what do we expect here? We could still see a rush, of course, as well, to obstruct the wooding and other resources here, the berries maybe, or even the docking, if the players at all go for that. <laughs> Moses is uh, looking for the enemy, but he's uh, just passing here. Hopefully he'll see the rhino or something here. He's literally just two tiles away from seeing Snape's location here. And yet he keeps looking. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Maybe Snape will run into the same issues on the other side here. He sees a gold though. That's uh, generally a giveaway that the opponent shouldn't be too far off. Golds are really far away here though. Um, forward gold from Snape, uh, Moses, the main gold. Side gold here, side gold here. And for um, um, Snape, gold on the hill. Side gold here and... Uh, Third one, at least in the back, but still far away. So Snapey finds the enemy. Moses is still looking, but he still seems to think that they might be over here some, somewhere. Just really unfortunate not to find the proper scouting there. Garrison the TC trying to get some hits in. On this map, you should know more or less your enemies anyway. Oh, is it uh, standard? Is it fixed spawns? Or. I don't know. Well, at Moses, yeah, he found the wood line, which has already been quick called in by Snapey. Snapey with three on wood, suggesting the uh, scout's investment here, and he's going up at 19 pop with Magars here, which is doable with Magars, even with that uh, Dark Age eco bonus. But. Um... But, uh, yeah, because, um, because the scouts are cheaper. Scouts are 10% cheaper for the Magyars. No garrison. Snapey, are we playing uh, playing nice guy here? 
Moses is just uh, casually strolling by here, getting a sneaky hit in on one of the Lumberjacks. Not dealing any damage. Ah, dealing a little bit of damage. Tiny, tiny bit. Two, two damage taken to the villagers there. So the barracks is up for Moses, and he's going for the Men at Arms here. 23... No, no, no. What is this? 20... Rather, 19 villagers. So 20 pop Men at Arms then. 20 pop Rush. <laughs> no, Men at Arms is on the way, and following it up with archers. There we go. And as Snape is just now dropping the barracks, he's following the Drush, getting some hits in before Men at Arms kicks in. I think Moses needs to fight, maybe. Yeah, he doesn't want to take the fight before Men at Arms. Now they're in. Three Men at Arms with plus one. I thought, well, this Magyars is the is Snape here, so never mind. The scout of Snapey has plus one attack that makes it easier to clean up the Men at Arms. Just one more scout now for Snapey, and he could take a favorable engagement here. Good reaction to pull the villagers off the barracks as well, not to risk the men at arms dealing any damage there. Still idle time though, and walking time. Oh, I'm almost going down to the TC there, and that leaves some room for the scouts to engage. I think they should just engage now and hit the weak ones. Range going up as well. When you see the men at arms, you expect an archer's an archer's follow up. So that's the range for Snapey here. Men at arms doing their best, but a good scout micro from Snape, Snapey as well, pulling away the one HP scout, almost saving it. But the men at arm gets the last hit, the last word there. Three plus one scouts now moving out for Snapey, but uh, Spearman is on point for Moses here as well, getting a poke in there. And the woodline has been walled in now with archers and spears follow up by Moses here. Second range going up as well before the blacksmith actually. Whereas uh, Snapey has the range, one range here. And going to skirmish here. Scouts and skirmish for Snapey. Snapey seems to like his skirmish play here. He did it with Bulgarians in the previous game as well. Scouts running around here looking for blood. They're gonna find potentially the exposed woodland over here that Snapey has scouted earlier on. They're engaging, and that should be at least one, maybe two villagers down for Moses. One now. Oh, and blocking. Nice scouts micro there for uh, Snapey getting two villagers just like that. 2 0 KD. 2 1, in fact. So uh, Snapey seems to have uh, lost one villager to war in the middle of all this. Or something. Wildlife. Hitting the berries as well. Where are the spearmen, Moses? He sent them forward. All three spearmen forward here. It's gonna hit the woodland of uh, Snapey here, but Snapey has the skirmishers in place already. Skirmishers counter both spearmen and archers, meaning that Moses' forward will come to a short tier, I think. So one scout down at home is Moses queuing more. Well, he has one spearman out here now. The villager count is in favor of Snapey. He has a three villagers lead now ish, as Moses has had more idle TC time as well. Yeah, Moses definitely needs a response to skirms now. He needs to drop a stable and get some scouts out. That's probably the best option. Could also go for more men at arms in the pinch, but they aren't as quick as the scouts. Good engagement on the woodland now, pulling Snapey away from the one and only woodland. Snapey with a nine on ber berry down here, so he's really been doubling up on the berries food as well. I like to see these uh, extended Budelage fights though, that's uh, refreshing. It's 
Skirvishers and Scouts moving forward again. Spears in the mix as well, just in case Moses uh, pumps out the Scout to deal with the Skirmishers. The Archer... Uh, can't... Oh, don't run into Skirmishers with the Archers! Ooh, Paints a uh, good reaction on Moses, though he's pulling them back. But he's uh, meeting roughly similar numbers of Skirmishers that he has Archers here. Only one Spear, and that's his best option here. He's again trying to fight Skirms with Archers, and this time some decent micro, but no hill advantage being taken right now. He exploits the fact that Snape doesn't have Fletching, though. So he can uh, kind of, That's why Moses is fighting Skirmishers with Archers here. He has Fletching, so he has, uh, he's outranging the Skirmishers by one here. Using that to the best of his ability. Sniping Scouts should work as well. When you have Fletching, you deal more damage and have that range. Spearman comes to Medlin here as well, but the Skirmishers could snipe that one. Good micro from both, both parts here. There's a man at arm added, that's probably with the intention of uh, dealing with the skirmishes here, but there are scouts on the field as well with that plus one attack that Megaris get uh, instantly throughout the ages. Melee upgrades kicking immediately for Megaris, so you don't need to spend resources researching them, and it gives you an early power spike in each age for your melee units. What a good old mess this is, but it's not easy to fight off scouts with builders when they have plus one attack. Moses losing numbers here, he's lost 6 builders now to Snape's offenses and uh, yeah, it's actually with the ILTC time behind this which is significant as well, Moses is 11 builders behind Snape in all this. So it's not looking too pretty for our blue friend here. Snape with the walling as well. What is this? This is open. And they're gonna wall all the way to the edge. I haven't even seen them trying to take any water yet. So that would certainly provide a safer food source than the farms would here. But maybe they just um, agreed to play it like the regular D Atacama gentleman's agreement, since this version of Atacama isn't really in the map pool anymore. It was announced, but then it was uh, switched out, so uh, my bad for misinforming. Archer's doing some work, being chased away again there, Moses with a 22 to 39 KD here, so... And now with the scouts in front and getting some hits in, Moses is yet again going to lose his military here. He is uh, still producing archers from both ages, but he will need a response to this. Maybe add... Well, he needs more spearmen maybe to deal with the scouts, but then with the skirmishes in the mix, that's easier said than done. Cast stage isn't too far off though, Snapey is investing a lot more into feudal here than Moses is. Snapey who plays team games with uh, Tato regularly, he is, uh, <laughs> he's adopted the feudal boy uh, spirit here with, um, with um, barrier of success I'd say. He's, uh, I mean he's been perform performing well in this tournament, but sometimes that uh, full on feudal age investment can backfire. So. I've seen uh, Snapey almost throw games going full feudal, but uh, then salvaging it by going cast Lich last minute and closing it out, so... So this kind of uh, full on feudal investment sh could and should be punished, but Moses going to the cast Lich now, albeit with a low, low, low winter count compared to his opponent who has, is playing full... full... Waltz, Waltz, no Waltz style behind here, but he's uh, complementing it with not some nice fuel age aggression forward, so I'll give him that. If we will wall, wall at minute 30, I'll accept that, even for open season. 
it's a part of the game after all. Some good annoyment here on the wooden command. I think that's the only wood line of Moses. So that means that Moses won't be able to place another stable if he means to follow up in the castle age here with um, with um, knights. Only 30 seconds to go for the castle age though. Meanwhile, we have Snapey getting wheelbarrow. And uh, fortifying that villager lead is going to kick the cast age at some point, of course, which means that uh, uh, roughly seven villagers' work of time will go into researching cast age. Still, Moses, all in all, with that uh, twice the island this time, is behind in the progression here. And if you can afford it, of course, you provide provide uh, military uh, while still in the field age. Quite a few scouts on the field there and they are plus one scouts for the Magyar's nice quick wall attention by Moses by the way. He's uh, closing the gaps here. Only one uh, one miner outside of the the walls there. Castle age is in and we'll see should be seeing knights on the way. Oh there is double stables actually. Snapey, meanwhile, has no intention of going Castle Age here, he's just playing full on feudal with uh, <laughs> lots of Magyar scouts here, 40 scouts total. Defense is in, Bloodlines is in, so uh, shouldn't underestimate extended scouts play, uh, especially not with Magyars uh, getting one of the upgrades for free here. And uh, until the Knights can get the proper upgrades and uh, get the numbers, the scouts will actually hold up nicely here and keep. Annoying the economy at power is up on the woodland here, even so Moses is being restricted off wood yet again here. So important on Atacama to um, to cure the wood sources. And Moses uh, Snapey isn't making it easy for his opponent to access woodlands here. Yeah, pulling in villagers now, pulling them away from the gold maybe, but they're running right into the mix of things here. Moses with 24 villagers. Yes, it's not at all looking pretty here for the Japanese player. You could argue that Japanese are a good counter to Magyar's long term with uh, access to fully upgraded Arblast and faster attacking infantry involving the Spears and the uh, Pikeman line. But uh, right now, Snapey is outnumbering Moses by far in military. Even if it's only a few late units, it's 37 military to 3 here. GG well played is called. It is a 2 0 for Snapey. And uh, we'll see how he fares in the finals here. But let's look at the stats. Not in the final, of course, but the semi final. We're still in the quarter final stages. And Snapey with a 2 0 advances to the semi final. So the score here, military score higher for Snapey, more military overall, the KD speaks into his favor as well, even playing the full feudal here, never going Castle Age, 79 to 38. Economy situation shows uh, more resources collected overall for Snapey here as well, and the uptimes show a quite smooth uh, 19 pop scouts with Magars there. And then finally the society for the villagers high here, shall we snake with a solid lead, but never clicking that cast age, so... So, um... I had to, of course, invest a lot into military and keep that momentum going with the field age. So if Moses had been in a better spot economically, maybe securing some fish for uh, for um, uh, a food eco that's uh, more difficult to raid, then, uh, then he could have gotten more knights out to fight off the feudal age armies of the opponent. But GG and congratulations, Snapey.